Hey there, everybody, and well ba welcome back to more World Championship mode. We are going to be buying some... No, wait, not buying packs. We gotta... Damn it, we gotta spend our money on our freaking vehicle. Uh, we're gonna take on two 1,400 power... Mo oh my god, we're gonna lose. Jesus Christ, we're gonna lose. That's that's scary. Um, we have Confusion Magic and Backup Wanted. Warriors and Spellcasters do actually work together. There are some support for that, like the A-Forces. Uh, we'll see what, what happens, though. Just a set pass. Set set pass. Damn. Nah, that makes it a little bit better. Big bang shot. Ooh, limiter removal. And giant rat. Nice. I like this hand now. Are you actually going to big bang shot the giant rat, though? Because that would make me a little bit scared. Oh, no. If they MST that giant rat, you die. We don't even get the rat's effect after that. Also, aren't most of your Machinas, like, not good? <laughs> um, like, because they have too much attack? Giant rat can't be... I can't summon them? Are you going to get, like, Defender or Co Commander Covington with this thing? Oh, hi, DD Warrior Lady. That would also ruin Giant Rat's effect. But at least, um, if they went for that, we would have an option here. Also, Breaker could kill Giant Rat if they summon Breaker. Really? Using a Monster Born already? Do you have a double tribute monster in mind or just a regular tribute? Because Shining Angel, I don't know if it's that worth. Oh, you just like your Shining Angels. Okay. Shouldn't judge. Got it. And that's going to be a clean death. Honest. Wow. They get to keep their monster. That is super scary. No wonder this deck's going to be hard to fight. They get honest. Oh, boy. At least they killed us by battle, so we do get something out, out of it. Another rat, which will now just turn into a crashing match unless they have uh, a bunch of um, honest in their hand, which I highly doubt that they would spend one. Because destroying Shining Angel is way more beneficial to them. I see my partners doing their absolute best right now, and I can appreciate that. But I'm getting more and more worried as the duel goes on. More Shining Angels, huh? And the next one attacks. Are we actually going to spend our limiter removal? We're not. Okay. Kind of curious, but what? But whatever. I don't want to judge. And we take 14. Yeah, this would be perfect for a lightning vortex. Just saying, that, that would be beautiful right about now. I don't have one. But man, if I did, <laughs> they'd be crying. Oh boy, yeah, this is this is rough. Granted, their DD Warrior Lady is now weaker than us, so that's the good news. It's kind of strange, but I'm actually going to try and True Nade. Um, I'm going to put them back. Don't worry, I'm going to put them back. But I can't exactly let my monsters get destroyed that easily. Mad Lobster is our best option. I could destroy DD Warrior Lady, which would remove one monster forever. Or, or, hear me out, I could destroy a Shining Angel... And then they have to destroy the DD Warrior Lady instead, unless they have a Tribute Monster or another Honest. Which they probably would have used right there, so I guess we're fine. Unless Marauding Captain runs Honest, I don't know. A third Shining Angel, of course. Or fourth, I don't know. They probably both, they probably both run Shining Angel. Hmm, which means they have six to work with. Come on, Crash. Ah, Tribute Summon, damn. Ooh, that's a bad one. That one is unaffected by spell cards, so that, that's actually a really scary one. <clears throat> and now they don't have to sacrifice DD Warrior Lady, which means I don't get the idea. Ah, I can't get my idea off, but it won't evolve. That's the good news. Problem is, I can't kill with Lightning Vortex or anything. We have to beat it by Battle or Monster Effect. <clears throat> I might not even get another turn, to be honest. Even with this back row, I don't think we have a chance. The only thing he could top deck is a Mirror Force, really. Other than a mirror force, we're done. A Fisher does get rid of Shining Angel. He could try to keep us in the duel, but at the end of the day, the only way we stay in the duel is if he tries to tribute again, activating a foe. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna sacrifice his monster. He's going all in just to make sure they only have one card left. Oh nope, they have Honest. Oh well, we have to divine wrath that. Oh, we didn't. Okay. Well, I guess he knew the duel was over, so he just decided to kill us. That's okay, Blister. I've come to the realization that I don't really want you as a partner anyway. Your Machina deck... Uh, you have good spells and traps, I'll give you that. But your Machina deck sucks.
Like, it's just not working out. So, you know where I'm going to grind the money off of? Still wear championship mode, don't get me wrong. But we'll do CPU duels regular, not tag duels. Um, I don't think we have any new ones here, though. Oh, well. Yeah. It says I never beat Krebon, so I guess... Cre oh, wait, two new ones. Never beat Montage Dragon either. All right, let's try Montage Dragon first. Let's see what they're like. They seem to be more of a gamble deck, so that could be fun. Montage Dragon itself is a scary monster, so let's see what they uh, end up doing against us. I I'm sure we can fight them, though. Although, if I start losing 1v1s, then I'm going to be like, damn, the problem wasn't him, it was me. Although, I'd probably still blame him because it'd make me feel better. Alright, set D Warrior Lady. See how I'm not using my field spell? That's what he shouldn't have done. Even though it will be great to get Leviathan Dragon out here. That's a pretty good monster. Would not want to deal with it personally, so... It's not. Let's hope that Montage Dragon is not in his hand. It's not! <laughs> That's the good news! The bad news is, I got a test for Bottomless before I, or TT before I summoned Violet, uh, my dragon. <laughs> because that card would suck if they did. Because I then I'll have nothing. They don't. Okay, well, let's see if they have Dust Tornado or MST. So far, so good. I'm liking it. I summon my dragon. All right, Leviah Dragon, activate your effect and get rid of all of these non-believers. We don't want to deal with their Mirror Forces. Let's see what they have. Ju what was that? Mirror Force and Justy Break? They had both? Holy shit, that, this deck's going to suck to fight. I'm going to have to find a way to get my field spells because I need to blow up their field. Well, my strongest card has taken them on now. They can't really beat me by battle, I assume, but they definitely can beat me if they have traps like those. Let's see if they summon a monster face-up attack mode. Normal monster. Nope, new back row, though. I need to draw MST, Heavy Storm, or another Legendary Ocean just to feel safe. I drew some Jowls, which, uh... Yes. <laughs> yes, that's what I've drawn. I attack. It worked. Heck yeah! Alright, two big hits from my boss monster so far. And I could set another one, which might come in handy if they try to play defensively. Yeah, if they try to play defensively, I could steal a face-down monster. If they try to go with that Justy Break, I could steal a face-up monster. It's a win-win. Alright. Oh, well, actually, I'm going to lose something now. Hmm. So even if I do take their monster, what's the point now? I was hoping they played defensively, to be honest. My Jowls are gone. I do get to steal their monster, but at what cost? I won't have it when I need it, which is for Justy Break. Although, if I could draw another monster, I could creature swap my way into a Justy Break. That way I'm safe. Yo! Good timing. I summoned the Penguin Soldier unironically. What? You had TT the whole time? Oh, I thought it would be Justy Break and I killed myself. Well, I luckily have salvage, but I'm not going to be able to salvage this. This was a huge misplay. Because if their monsters are all beaters, then the Leviathan Dragon Daedalus was literally my best bet. The rest of these are at best stall cards. Yes, I can creature swap, but I'm only going to be able to steal one, so... Kind of make sure I choose the right one. Damn, they had TT instead. TT's limited to one. The, the Justy Break is not limited, so they still could have had two. The higher odds were, were Justy Break. Uh, it's not really worth attacking directly with these monsters. It's also not really worth it putting it back in their hand, because if I do that, then I don't get to creature swap an actual monster. Well, we'll see what happens. I'm a little bit worried, I admit. What card could you possibly be looking for? Smashing Ground? That's not the worst card to choose. Oh, you really not going to summon anything? Can I just draw? Okay, you know what? I have Beater Mon- Hell, I'll take a Cure Mermaid. Let's see what we get. Oh, this game loves to taunt me, you know that? This game, it loves to. Did you just spend all your life points to stop my one car? I win. Thanks to the AI going way too aggressively, I win the duel because my Penguin Soldier is now the ultimate monster. 
I set creature swap and I activate mage power, giving my penguin soldier the power of a god. In fact, it's got the same attack power as, let's see what my attack is. What is that, like a Firewing Pegasus? Yeah, Firewing Pegasus, go! And just like that, we beat the Montage. See, when I don't have that crappy partner, I can win duels. I beat Montage Dragon. There we go. Honestly, I felt like I got a little lucky, though. My hand was pretty effective, and my opponent did play kind of meh. But there is still one more opponent I can test my deck on that I have not dueled. And that opponent will be Krebons. This guy's got 1400 power level and is a psychic type monster. Therefore, I should expect a hard duel here. Hmm. Oh, at least I get to go first because my partner, uh, my, sorry, my opponent is kind. But we'll see. Oh, have I forgotten to switch this from the, from the, <laughs> from the racing? I apologize, everybody. I, I hate when I do that by accident. It's 100% by accident, but I do hate when I do that. So I apologize if you were forced to, you know, look at the screen in a worse way. But I'm assuming that this is better for you. Let's go ahead and summon... I could have swore I did it too. Maybe I misclicked it. Like I clicked it, but it didn't actually... Didn't actually go through. Now Oystermeister being level 3 does give me an option here. But Fenrir being here also gives me a different option if I go for that. Playing defensively with a Psychic deck, I find that to be a little bit worrying. Defensive Psychic is not exactly something I know about. I don't even think it's a thing. Solemn Wishes. Now I'm really worried. What's going on here? Alright, I'm gonna... I'm sure there's no Psychic Monster that pops my monsters when they flip. But I think there is a Psychic Monster with like 2100 defense, so... I'm going to give my Oyster Meister the United We Stand in case I have to Gravity Bind later. And then I'm going to destroy that face down. Oh, that's not a that's not a Psychic Monster. What? What? That is bait. If only I knew what I was really up against. I did not know this. I did not know. Oyster Meister at least gives me something. That's, that's kind of sweet, but not going to work out. Oh, uh, well, one water monster hit the grave, so Fenrir is getting closer. Um, I'm a little worried about what my opponent might have actually played down, uh, gotten rid of. They all look like monsters, and they're definitely a synchro-heavy deck, so let's see if it was Plague Spreader. Nope, Snail. Oh, it is a Psychic deck, you just happen to have a Raikou in it. And I got rid of Emergency Teleport, that's really good. Getting rid of Emergency Teleport is really good, so that's that's a win. They are going to be healing more than, they're de than I'm dealing, though, if they keep playing defensively. Monster Reborn. Of course they have Monster Reborn to take advantage of the fact that they uh, threw away monsters. That's not bad. And now I'm forced to activate my Gravity Bind. Shit. Oh wait, no, I got lucky. They Synchro Summoned. Oh shit, never mind. That's not lucky. That's a problem. That's actually just a problem. You know what? I'd rather Gravity Bind and then wait for a Legendary Ocean with Penguin Soldier. What's that? Yo! I'm out of time already! Yeah, it cost them a thousand, but they are costing me everything. Ooh, a Legendary Ocean. Eh, I wish it was strong enough. 27, this guy will have 2650. It's that close, but it's not enough. Alright. What does this do? Okay. Penguin Soldier still works against it, but... I'm going to have to last a turn without losing anything. I won't need a tribute for Giga Gaga Gigo, but Penguin Soldier, hopefully he only summons one monster and doesn't go crazy. Arch Ruler Thought, uh, sorry, Thought Ruler Archfiend is probably one of the best. Telekinetic Shocker. Oh, I don't plan on pa uh, destroying any monsters, so this works out. They were smart. They went for my face up card before the face down. That was a good play. Learn from this AI, everybody. If you're a basic Yu-Gi-Oh player, learn from this AI. They heal a lot from killing that monster on top of that. And Penguin Soldier saves my day by giving them no field, and now they have no tuner monster. But they've been healing so much that they're already back to full exactly. I don't know how they did that. Pulling that off is actually impressive. This is not destruction, therefore they can't activate any effects. Good job, Penguin Soldier. You saved me. And now, I'm going to make sure that you pay for this. Oh god, they just played a trap. Are you serious? Are you serious? Alright, well, 
<laughs> Shit. Let's hope for the best. Let's really hope for the best. Um, if it's TT, they'll activate it on this. I'd rather lose Fenrir if I have the option. Let's get rid of you and you. I'm going to keep Penguin Soldier just in case. Salvage is an option. Hey, look, I got a Fenrir. Please don't. Please don't. Okay, it's TT. Thank God. Okay, we hit it early. We're fine. I don't know how our opponent comes back because I could still normal summon this thanks to the level drop. It becomes level 4, which is hilarious to me. And now we can do 2650. If they play a Krabons or something to stall, I have Smashing Ground. And as long as they don't do a bunch of tributes or a bunch of combos into a Synchro Monster, I win. Because Thought Ruler could kill me, 100%. Or if they play that one psychic card that pops face up monsters. Heavy Storm makes me a little weaker, but you lost your healing card in the process, so I don't care. And I know the card in your hand only stops destruction. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Our no, that's not what I wanted to see. A back row card. Give me MST. They got lucky enough to draw TT and I had an option, so let's see if I have an option this time. I don't, but it's just a healing card, so we're cool. Alright. Could have been bad. It's not. And I remember his attack, or his defense stat. The monster that's on the field, Mother Grizzly, could kill it. That way I could start doing more damage. Yep, only has 700 defense. It's actually a pretty good beater monster, but 700 defense means that I can take you down. And 2450 to the face. I am now in control of the duel. You only can heal 500 per turn, and you have no hand. Crabons would be the card to save you, but I have Smashing Ground, so Mirror Force is only the only card that can truly save you. Damn it. Ah, oh, I was hoping they drew a monster. I was so hoping they drew a monster. Spell and trap cards are way scarier. I have a seven card fish if this backfires. I'm going for game. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. It didn't backfire. That looks like I won. It looks like I won again. See, I don't lose duels when I... Oh, wait, I miscalculated. From way over here, the life points did not look like there was a 50 on there. Okay. Miscalculation, everybody. There's no way they have two TTs, so I technically can 7-7 seven, seven colored fish for safety, but I'm not going to. I've given my opponent one extra turn. Or maybe I didn't. Maybe that was a bottomless. Who knows? Alright, what does this do? Oh, it's pot it's jar of greed or pot of greed, okay. So they healed again. Should have seven seven colored seven seven colored fish, but how could I have known? And now that they've done this, they have way more cards in their hand. And no, they don't. They don't have any back row, though. No back row equals a happy Cooper. Because now I can just attack and win, right? Unless that face down happens to draw cards. Because I don't want to summon seven card fish just in case. The mind mass... Or, wait. Dr. Cranium? I'm pretty sure he does nothing, right? Right? Ah, you lose life points just to do nothing. Good. Good. That's a GG if I ever seen one. Okay, so as I was saying, um, yes, I make mistakes when it's just myself, but at the same time, we were able to beat a 1400 power level deck, and I feel like we are good. We are effective duelists, and we know what we're doing. And thanks to all the money because he was so powerful, we can now afford that engine that I wanted, and we will go back to the story mode. So screw the tag duels, those are not worth in my mind. And let's get back to the 5D story mode, everybody, and let's buy that engine. Hey, can I afford it now? Thank you. Howdy and welcome. Look, sir, I want me an engine that lets me go fast. There we go. Saving data. Dual runner parts list. It's sold out. All right, that's literally the best I could buy. The best money could buy. So this should make my dual runner as fast as all those other ones. Oh, shit. No, no, no. We're not doing that. Alright, customize. I do not want this baby 100. I want the 3,000. Look at that boost. I think the only thing I did not gain was what? Acceleration? What does the tire mean? Where's OP parts? Overpowered parts? <laughs> Alright, I do want to work on my other parts too, but now I want to try a race with this new uh, engine just to see if I'm any good. So, again, I know it's kind of awkward because I had it on the wrong screen the whole time. I'm going to switch back, and we're going to try a race. Maybe I'll do a time trial instead. I don't know. Um, let's go back, and a battle, I kind of sucked. So, let's do a time trial, and let's just see how good I do. 
with my new engine. All right, so far, so good. Feels like I'm going slower, actually. How's that possible? Well, you know what? It feels like I'm going slower because there's no competition. So, last time we did this, it took four minutes to end the race, which is about a minute 30, or no, not a minute 30, a minute 20 per lap. So, if I can get this under a minute and 20, oh, shit, that was a boost. Well, it might not be easy to do when I miss the boost, so we'll see. This vehicle runs all right. Might also help if I just memorize the track. But memorizing the track it seems pretty difficult. Oh, damn. Well, you know what? Hitting the wall did not really slow me down that much, so that's got to be my engine at work there. Making these turns it has become more difficult. Okay. I need, to I need to invest some money into something that lets me do turns a little bit better. What, uh, what part increases turn stuff? What part could possibly do that? Alright. Ah, damn, it's so hard to let go of the button. Like, it's, it's, the turns are tight. That's all I'm trying to say is the turns are tight. But it looks like I'm going to beat the record no problem. Or the time attack no problem. Does that mean, do I get anything for beating a time attack or is that just for nothing? Finish line, let's see. DP earned. Nothing. You get nothing. Maybe because it was a rank B. Alright, I'm going to take a little bit of time. And we're going to go check the store. To see if there's anything that can give me a little bit more control. Because maybe the speed's fine, but the control is definitely not. CPU, runner's acc well, acceleration could be important too. Runner's maximum speed, that's what I did. Frame. Effects handling. This is what I need. Alpha frame. Four, three. Beta frame. Has high endurance, but doesn't handle so hot as uh, has a low total weight. Hmm. Has high endurance, but doesn't handle so hot and has a low total load weight. What about gamma? Has great handling and load weight, making it easier to install options. However, its endurance is low. And what's alpha? Balanced frame has no quirks and is easy to use. Okay, I might want that. Um, well, gamma is probably what I should go for. Um, if you're a good racer. Beta, no, beta is if you're a good ra uh, if you're a bad racer, because it's high endurance. But alpha gives me a little bit more chance in my mind, so... I need to make another thousand bucks for that to be worth. But I don't know if I truly need it. See, if I do another test race... Maybe I will be maybe with a test race. I'll, I'll know how good I am. So screw it We're gonna go back to battle. I know I did terrible last time My best lap was 1 minute 13 seconds, which is better than the lap I did with this new engine um, So I must have been doing really good race wise my acceleration is bad. So I expect them to be ahead of me mm, No, I kept up pretty well with that guy. All right. It's not too bad But I'm at like max I, I bought the maximum speed I could buy so I need to figure out why I'm still not catching up to these guys. That was literally the maximum speed. I can't, I don't want to look at the map, so I can't tell if I'm falling behind, but I remember the track a little bit better. Oh, I see one. Okay, so definitely this is faster. This is definitely a faster, uh, faster engine, because I, I can actually see the enemy. And I've actually passed the enemy, which is even bigger. And I got a boost, and I hit the rocks, and... My acceleration isn't terrible, so it's okay. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Oh, I hit this guy. Damn. Oh, wait, I hit him into a wall. Yeah. All right, we're in second now. Yeah, definitely this engine's making a difference. It's making a big... Last time, we couldn't even catch up even when we were dueling or racing right. This time, I feel like we have a real chance. Oh, a guy's catching up to me. Did I not hit that boost? Or has this guy just got a faster, faster vehicle than I do? Wow, even with the brake, I couldn't hit it. Oh, okay, he hit the wall, too. So it turns out his vehicle is not much better than mine. It must be good at speed, but bad at handling. Just like mine. Okay, not the best uh, not the best lap, and the other guy is doing incredible. Like, literally, that first place guy has some sort of vehicle of the gods. Because I don't think he's hitting anything. Granted, it must be easier not to hit anything when there's no one near you. Alright, just gotta make some turns. I think a boost is gonna be on the right first. So I need to stay on the right side of the track. Yep, on the right. Then, next boost will be on the left, but I have a few turns before that. Might be up on this turn, actually. I don't remember. 
It is up on this turn. Okay, good. And I hit the rocks again, which is really hard to dodge, so I'm not even going to blame myself. Uh, let's go ahead and keep it going. Get better at the game. That's all we want to do right now. As long as I get better at the game, who cares? I gotta get good at racing. I know I suck at racing games, which is why my channel has, like, none. My channel is not made for racing games, that is for sure. But, I'm sure I could do it. The only time I was actually okay at racing games was back in the arcades. I used to play in the arcades racing games, and I was actually not too bad at those. There's no way I could beat the other guy. He's already, uh, freaking qualified, so... Even if I race horribly, I could beat these two people. Get second. Actually, they're starting to catch up. Yeah, my acceleration could use a buff, but right now we're just going to focus on... Oh, shit, it's only the third lap. Oh, my God, I don't know why I thought it was over. Yikes, what? Someone hit me? Are they hitting the back of my tire or something? Why am I... Damn it. Oh, shit. All right, well, Cooper's made a big error and thought the race was already over. Could have won and maybe had a chance of winning, but now I got to play way better. Oh, damn, they really messed me up back there. I couldn't really turn that well either, but I do remember this track. First, it's on the right. I can't... Okay. I might be freaking out, which is why I can't make these turns anymore. Alright. Next, it's on the left. And this is probably the easiest track, so I definitely need to improve my handling. Because these turns are much too slippery. That That's a real-life dual runner. I try to avoid the rocks at the cost of my own vehicle. If I hit one more wall, I think I die. I think I literally just die if I hit a wall. I don't know what their armor is like, but I, I definitely have not improved my armor at all. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch up to those two anymore. But this race did show me... Oh, I'm dead. Oh, oh no, I'm not. Uh, this race did show me that I am fast enough to keep up. I just can't keep up with the number one guy. I don't know what kind of bike he has. Maybe he has that one gamma thing where it's all speed, no... Uh... Well, I don't know how... If it's no armor, I don't know how he's still up there. Yeah, I played horribly at the end, I admit it probably beat my record sadly but we'll see finish line yeah minute 26 on the other one lap two was my best lap two was my best and i felt like i kind of crapped out at the end so it could have been better hmm not really making any money off this but you know what i do want to try i'm gonna do one more but I want to see if I try a different racetrack, if it's going to be way harder. I'm only going to do time attack because those are a lot shorter. I don't want to have to do three laps and not and get bumped around. Two minutes, 35. So this is a harder track. So let's see how I do in the pipeline. If I can do it here, then maybe all I need is a little bit more. If I can't do it, then I need more handling. If I can do it, then I think I'll be fine. without going because uh, I want I want to spend my money on cards I don't really care about racing like that's just that's just for real like I played that one racing game and that one I did care about racing because I knew it was a racing game this game I thought it was world championship which meant you know we're gonna play Yu-Gi-Oh but there's racing so that kind of screwed me All right. oh my handling is good enough to dodge some of these obstacles the turns are a little rough though definitely feeling uncomfortable and having trouble staying in the middle of the track. And the only reason you stay in the middle, guys, is because you need to avoid obstacles. The easiest way to do that is to be in the middle of the track, especially if you don't have the track memorized. All uh, right, there we go. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Oh, shit. Okay, I had to slow down there because I uh, I did not feel good on that turn. At least, I, you know what? I'm, I'm actually doing better in my mind. Granted, it's because there's no one around for me to bump into, but it's still better. Okay. I feel it. I'm, I'm feeling it. I got the power. I got the I got the strength to do this. And who knows? Maybe they'll give me some good money if I can get the time right. Give me an A on that time. Instead of a B. Because the B, I didn't earn any money. It was like zero, basically. Like not even 50 bucks. That's not even enough to ask the fortune teller what to do. That's depressing. And you can't even afford a fortune teller. That's how you know you're screwed. Okay. If I wanted to make that turn, I had to sacrifice my speed. That's because I don't have good handling. That's what happens. I only went for top speed because I wanted to keep up with the other people. And it worked. But I had to be careful. Okay. I felt like I did good there. I felt like I did pretty good. I say that was an A. Come on. It was an A. Hey, there we go. 
All right, I got the A, which gives me 50 bucks. An A is only worth 50 bucks. Jesus Christ. This game is so cruel. That's not even enough for anything. Packs are 150. All right, screw body, uh, screw car parts, or motorcycle parts, uh, packs are 150. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I want to thank you all for watching. Next time, we'll probably do maybe a little more grinding or maybe just jump right in because I did pretty good in that race. And uh, we will see what we end up doing. Will I improve the bike? Maybe. Will I improve the... Uh, or will I uh, just jump right into the story? Maybe. But either way, see you all then. And please remember to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.